songs and felicitations. Okay, the first round. Boom. <laughs> and oh, geez, that was boom. just unnecessary. You kidding me? You can't be out of range. Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. You're all of the Appy and Way here at Polyakni Heights. And I've brought my Anatolian Swords of Dardania, as well as plenty of other units, against Death's Hippolyta's Amazons. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and quickly go through the, the two army comps. <clears throat> I brought three Fearless Swords, three Dardanian Defenders, and a Warlord Mentor to support. I brought five Anatolian Swords. To protect my two Anatolian slingers, as well as three Dardanian mobs with the money that was left over. Death brought a pair of Antonii, a pair of Amazon champions, a Sirens, four Coronites, two Aristobacoi, one with three XP, one with two XP, and of course an Archer Skirmisher hero on horseback. So when the battle takes off, uh, he's quick to move on up and start, you know, trying to probe my defenses with a couple of uh, Siren slings and with his Archer's at <clears throat> Archer's attacks. I see the Antonyra coming, and uh, I'm kind of screening them off my Dardanian mob. Dardanian mob don't stand much of a prayer against Antonyra, but their their spears and their their little bits of damage is still more than the Antonyra want to take. And I also have my Anatolian slingers to help dissuade them from finishing that flank. Knowing that there is an Archer skirmisher hero out here, I have to take the calculated risk of getting my heavy infantry shot at. But this is what Dardania does. Dardania brings lots and lots of elite heavy infantry. And while heavy infantry is particularly vulnerable to an archer hero's shots, sometimes you just kind of have to take the uh, take the risk. I got lucky on that one. That arrow only killed one. It could have easily killed three down the line. And each shot is capable of killing multiple hero or multiple Dardanian defenders with each shot from that hero. So I'm going to use my slingers. Kind of alternating fire between chasing, you know, just annoying his hero and annoying his cavalry. I go ahead and I'm just, he, he, he finds one of my Dardanian mobs out of position. I'm going to go ahead and reposition my other mobs. Just make him think twice about doing it. He's going to be forced to use hit and run tactics. He's going to keep putting his archer skirmisher up here. My Dardanian defenders go ahead and they launch off some volleys from their javelins. This is all damage that death is trying to avoid. And I, I, I agree with the choice. I think if you ever possible, you want to avoid taking damage, but he also knows that this is a good opportunity to make me waste my ammo. So I'm only shooting when I'm knowing that I can dissuade him from attacking my heavy infantry, because I'm already down 17 models in this Dardanian defender. But this hero is already down to 28 arrows left, and he's, he's actually, he's, I don't know if he meant to do this, but he's now accidentally shooting my Anatolian swords. I'd much rather he shoot my Anatolian swords vastly prefer. So as, as you can see, like, these heroes can easily dodge all of these slings. I got lucky there, that volley actually connecting. The heroes lost a little bit of health, but not too much. We're only talking about 265 points worth of health are gone. The Amazon champions have shifted over this direction. Um, I am worried about their impact because I only have the, the light infantry Dardanian mobs out here. And again, I'm just facing a whole bunch of anti ray chargers. But my slingers are starting to put in some damage. My mobs are also starting to put in a little bit of damage on the Antonyra. Really kind of working out in my favor there. Very grateful for that. Here comes, I think, the Archer Skirmisher Hero. I, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Oh, oh, I know. He ordered an attack on the Dardanian Defenders while it was moving. And the hero just kept moving on that course until it met with my Anatolian Swords. So seeing this opportunity, I'm just going to order these swords. Swords are... Cheap swords are a great answer to heroes. They, they won't necessarily win, but they'll deal plenty of damage. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and order the attack, and I'm going to let my slingers shoot at her, too. I start moving up my Dardanian defenders, because maybe I can cut off the, uh, the Archer Skirmisher here from escaping back to her troops. And this was a gamble, a big gamble. I started moving my my Fearless Swordsman all the way around to the other side of this, with this rock, and it's going to take them a long time to get there. This leaves three Dardanian defenders and some Anatolian swords to face all these Coronites and Aristobacoi. And here comes the Amazon champions as well to dissuade me from taking my Anatolian swords out of the mud, but I went ahead and I did it anyway. And it allows me an opportunity for my Anatolian slingers to, uh, to deal some damage to them. And the champions don't want to be in the mud. They really don't. I go ahead and I, I send an Anatolian sword to support my mobs because he's now committed his forces, his cavalry forces over here. And this is really good timing on his part because my Fearless Swordsmen are completely out of position. 
And because of how his chariots and cavalry have wrapped up my Anatolian swords, my Dardanian defenders are facing two to one. Including including a hero on this instance. My forces are broken, and his chariots have an opportunity here. After they quickly wrap up my Anatolian swords to rear charge my Dardanian defenders, watch my Dardanian defenders' morale disintegrates. So I'm in a very, very dangerous spot here. My Dardanian defenders are about to rout. My hero's already been a little bit beat up. Two more Dardanian defenders are still stuck in the throw of this. I do manage to get some good javelin damage on, on the Siren. The Siren has uh, Siren lure this Fearless Swords in. I think that was a mistake. The, fear, the Fearless Swordsman was already out of position. And I still have two other Fearless Swords that I can bring over here in time. My Anatolian Slingers are doing okay. The XP I bought, they did not earn that. They've only made about six kills apiece. But those kills are going to be against Antonyri and Amazon Champions. They're dealing plenty of damage, and they're about two-thirds of their way to their next XP. I brought the Slingers with the intention of trying to dissuade, you know, Cavalry and, and Amazon Champions if I could protect them, and I thought I could in the mud. Yeah, and you can see I'm kind of paying for that decision. Right here, a pair of Antonyri, they recharge my Anatolian Slingers, but I have good news. The Antonyri, they are affected by mud, and I still have my mobs and my swords out here. Mobs with 13 kills, 2 kills, this sword with 9 kills. Again, those are those are cavalry kills that they are making. So while my Anatolian Slingers, they are getting a little bit beat up here. Look at how well they're doing on their, on their earning their XP. They're almost there, and they're dealing damage that I need them to do. Here's, uh, I caught out the Archer Skirmisher here for a little bit with my Warlord Mentor. I brought the Warlord Mentor for his, for his, um, for his ability, Seize the Moment, minus 50% melee defense. And it made a difference in that frontline battle, um, for one of my Dardanian defenders against the Aristomachoi. But I'm also probably, I think I'm going to use it against an Amazon Champion at some point as well. So, yeah, you can see here, a Broken Antonii, right? They made about 174 kills, mostly against Dardanian mobs. They burned it. This one with 156, doing just fine. The Amazon Champion's now up, up to 177 kills. We're talking my, my medium swords, some of my slingers, some of my mobs. And these slingers, thankfully, they're still back in it. I won the battle in the mud against the cavalry and the chariots, for which I am very grateful. And now this um, Amazon Champion, which I just activated Seize the Moment on... Has, uh, has broken my uh, my Warlord Mentor. And that is going to turn around and get into this Dardanian mob. Meanwhile, my infantry fight is faring only so-so. Um, the Sirens are firing into my flanks. My Fearless Swordsmen are no longer distracted by those ladies. And I'm I'm lucky because my opponent picked Coronites. If he had picked the um, the uh, Andromachoi, I, I think I would have I would have lost a lot quicker in some of these battles. I did manage to get the other Fearless Swordsman back behind this Aristomachoi to support my last Dardanian Defender and Italian Sword to help it out. The Archer Skirmisher Hero is getting beat up. My hero is still routing. The Amazon Champions, as haggard as they were, charge my Anatolian Slingers and lose because they were in the mud. And only because they were in the mud. And that's going to allow my Slingers a chance to turn around. They've earned that XP. And they are now going to break these last few chariots. They're broken, and they will soon shatter. And then with that goes the the Aristomachoi and army losses. And a battle that was looking very, very dangerous for me turned around in those last few seconds because of army losses. At the time, I thought for sure I was going to lose this fight. And even in the last 10, 15 seconds, I was like... I can't bring this back. My fearless swordsman arrived just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time. And I, I managed to hold off the chariots and the Antonyri with, with my cheap my cheap throwaway units just long enough. But man, that was one of those battles where I, like, I was like, uh, did I deserve that? I don't think I deserve that win. And as you can see, like I don't have any really star performers in my army, right? Six kills on my hero, 26 kills on this sword, 62, 65, 67, 63 on some of my my elite uh, infantry. But still, we are talking about only only 400 kills that I made. When you bring a small army, you run the risk. You always run the risk of losing faster because of army losses. Each life matters more to the rest of the army as far as morale goes. Um, and again, the Coronites. I just don't like this pick. This unit 
could be a lot better. Um, I think the better pick, the wiser pick for a shield in a shield mainline infantry is the Andromachoi. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Tata, I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next one.